Philadelphia Eagles against the Dallas Cowboys. Weather-wise, there have been better days in Texas. 36 degrees, a threat of sleep, freezing rain, and very unpleasant things in the forecast. That doesn't really matter to the Eagles and to the Dallas Cowboys, because as I said a minute ago, this is one of the NFL's great rivalries. Hope you had a happy Christmas, and I hope the 1983 year comes to be just exactly like you'd like it to be. I'm Pat Summerall, along with John Madden. A lot of extraneous things going on here. The Cowboys have to win to have the home field advantage if the playoffs and when the playoffs start. The Eagles need uh, to win today to stay alive in the playoff picture. All those extraneous things, though, John, I don't suppose when two teams like this get together make any difference. I think the biggest thing, though, is confidence. You know, the Eagles aren't playing like the old, old Eagles. They aren't having a good year. They really don't have a lot of confidence. I think if they jump out early on top of the Cowboys, they'll have a chance. I think if the Cowboys get on top of them early, it'll be a long day. What about key matchups that we should be looking for today, Ben? We have some interesting matchups. You know, the best offensive lineman of the Eagles, Jerry Sizemore, is out. Frank Giddens has taken his place. Big Frank Giddens, he weighs 300 pounds, six foot seven, and he'll be going against Ed Tutal Jones. A very interesting matchup. You know, in the NFL, now they keep sack records, and we have two of the leading sackers in the league. Dennis Harrison from the Eagles and Harvey Martin from the Cowboys. So it'll be interesting to keep track of all that line play today, Pat. All right, John, we're just about set to kick off. Cowboys and the Eagles. And Texas Stadium has not been too good to Philadelphia. They've only won once here. They've lost ten times. But as we said a minute ago, it's very, very important to Philadelphia. It's very, very important to Dallas as well. But for the Eagles to keep their playoff hopes alive, they must win today. When the day began, all of the teams in the NFC had a chance for the playoffs. Even the Rams with their record of one and six. Wally Henry is number 89, back deep. Mel Hoover is back there with him. Number 85, and of course, Raphael Sepien will kick off. Cold and dreary day in Dallas. 36 degrees just a few minutes ago, and... drags him down at the 12. The Eagles will start from deep in their own territory and will check out their offensive line and the runners and the receivers. Ron Jaworski, of course, is the quarterback. Wilbert Montgomery, Perry Harrington started last week. This week it's supposed to be Leroy Harris. Ron Smith is one of the wide receivers. Harold Carmichael the other. Carmichael comes out wide to the left. It'll be first and ten. Lone setback is Wilbert Montgomery. York has Spagnola in motion. Hands to Montgomery. Montgomery for about a yard. Guy Brown was the first man there. A little scuffle going on after the play is over. That's the way to start a game. <laughs> no scuffle. If you're cold, let's get warm in a hurry. Here's the Dallas defense, the line, familiar names, of course, Ed Jones, John Dutton, Randy White, and Harvey Martin. The linebackers, Heckman, Brunig, and Guy Brown. Some question about whether Brunig would make it today. Charlie Horse in his leg. The secondary, Young, but strong. Wall, Thurman, Barnes, and Michael Downs, second and seven. Line of scrimmage back at the Eagles, 16. Harris and Wilbert Montgomery behind Jaworski. It's a Montgomery. Quickly Montgomery. First down Philadelphia out to the 30. Dennis Thurman tripped him up. 15-yard gain. It was one of the things Dick Vermeil said last night they have to do is be able to run the ball. Of course, when the Eagles run, they run to this guy, Wilbert Montgomery. I formation, flip. Leroy Harris playing here, number 20. He's starting again because he's a better blocker than Harrington, and we just see why. And Montgomery almost looked for more than he got. He got 15. It's first down. He goes at their own 31. First possession as Dallas defense goes into that flex. Spagnola goes in motion. Stop. Back to Montgomery. 
One of the other things that Dick Reveal said as Penny Barnes comes up to make the stop is that we just simply have to get the ball to Montgomery Moore. You know, they started out in training camp and they were going to use more formation. They were going to use Wilbert Montgomery more as a pass receiver. And he said that's really not the type of guy Montgomery is. He said he has to be in the eye formation, in the backfield, and run the ball. So they're going back to that now. Montgomery then has carried the ball every time. Tight end, Vito Cap, and Spagnola. Outside is run, Smith, pass complete. Another eagle first down. Almost midfield, Dennis Thurman is there. Another 15 yard gain. You know, Ron Jaworski has really been taking a lot of heat. And uh, last week in the huddle, Wilbert Montgomery was saying that the players were telling him, Ron, you ought to change your name to Lou. And then when they boo, you'll think they're cheering you. <laughs> Lou, 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 huh? Ooh-wee. First down Eagles at their own 49. One lone setback is Wilbert Montgomery. Take to Montgomery. Jaworski going for a bundle. Everson Wall picked off by Wall. The NFL's leading interceptor just got another one. He now leads the league in interceptions with six. You know, he was a free agent rookie last year. Everyone worked on him. I don't know why they keep working on him. Let's watch it in slow motion here. Now, he's the left corner. He starts here. He's man-to-man. Can't chug after five yards. Looks over his inside shoulder. And one thing about Everson Wall, he has great pass-catching ability. That's why he gets a lot of those interceptions. Not only is he in position, but he can catch the ball. So the Cowboys will take over with 12-26 left in the first quarter. A two tight ends set up with Cosby and Dupree both in there. And this is Tony Dorsett outside the 10 to about the 12. The offense for Dallas. Danny White, the quarterback, Tony Dorsett, and Ron Springs, the runners, and Drew Pearson and Tony Hill, the wide receivers. The offensive line, Donovan, Richards, Rafferty, Peterson, Cooper, and Doug Cosby. At that time, they went with two tight ends. Go! 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 We'll set up the Eagle defense in just a minute. Dorsett with Springs up in front of him. Put Johnson this time in motion. Dorsett straight ahead to about the 14. John Bunning. There's the first Eagle to make the hit. The Eagle defense. They play a three-man front. We'll get to the Eagle defense in just a minute. The Eagles, so good on defense the last couple of years, have fallen on bad times. And the defense has been the breakdown. Dick Vermeil said last night they just didn't work on it. Third down. Three. Ball gets away from White into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Greg Brown makes the recovery, makes the hit and the recovery. Touchdown, Eagles. going to keep that ball back. Long time he'll remember that one. And we talk about free agents. He's in his second year, but he was a free agent last year for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now watch. He'll come from the right side of the screen. Danny White is looking to his left. Now watch. Greg Brown comes in from behind right there. You see, and he grabbed, and as he grabbed, he knocked the ball out into the end zone, did a little turn, and got back in and recovered it himself for a touchdown. Howard Richards is the man who is injured in white for the Dallas Cowboys. Talking about him yesterday with Tom Landry. Tom was saying what great progress he had made. Those of you who have been watching San Francisco defeat Kansas City 26 to 13, welcome to Texas Stadium in Irving, Texas. And those of you who watch Green Bay overwhelm Atlanta 38 to 7. Welcome to Texas Stadium, and here's what just happened. 
There was no score at this point. And then Greg Brown put the heat on Danny White. Watch number 98. Ball is loose. Brown is back up. That's what's happened here at Texas Stadium. Greg Brown's second career touchdown. And the Eagles lead 6-0. Tony Franklin will try to make it 7. John Shira is the holder. Tony Franklin, perhaps the first member of the fraternity of kickers that do not wear shoes. 7-0. He is the referee. Some story about how he had to get here. Snowed in in Denver was Haggerty. Had to fly with the Broncos on their charter. Eventually wound up in Los Angeles. And then from Los Angeles back to Dallas. That's one way to get here. <laughs> We were talking earlier about confidence. If the Eagles you know, had a bad start, they really haven't had the type of year that they expected to have. As you mentioned earlier, a year ago, they were first in defense. This year, they're 13th in defense. And they really don't have the confidence. And I think that it was very important that they get that early score, that first score, and something to work with. I think had that happened to them, it could have been a tough day. But that's the type of thing that Dick said. That's the type of play that they needed. Aggressive play, going after it, making things happen. That he didn't feel they were doing that type of thing. Light and sometimes freezing rain falling. There is Franklin to kick off. I hang it. Ron Fellows will bring it out. He's got some room. Fellows to the 32. Fumble! Officials are saying that he was down. The Eagles are saying that we have it. The officials have already said no. He hit the ground. 28-yard return, and as John Madden has pointed out many times, the ground cannot cause a fumble. I think we're going to have a big argument about it, though. Because the Eagles did come up with the ball. It's like Louis Giamona that has the ball. It is. offensive unit was already out on the field. Check it again. Watch it. Here's Ron Fellows. He'll start up the middle. He's going to cut right up there. Now that's the first hit. The second hit. I think the whistle blew right there before the ball came out. That's the official ruling. The ground cannot cause a fumble. Dallas first and 10 at their own 33. Go set the carry. Nothing doing as Frank LaMaster bops him right at the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go. I think what happened, I think the Cowboys were trying to influence LaMaster. Instead of being influenced, he was going on a blitz. He was going. And he just went right through that guard hole. And he got Tony Dorsett before he could get started. Second and nine from the 34. The Dallas Cowboys have scored only seven points in the first quarter of all games this year. Second and nine. Despite their record of six and one, first quarter has not been good to them. Cosby starts in motion. White drops the throw. Does Cosby. Cosby has first down outside the 45, knocked down by Jerry Robinson. One thing about Danny White and the Dallas Cowboys is they have good mixture on first down, second down, and third down. They don't get in those ruts where they run on first, run on second, and then try and throw on third down. Of course, against this Eagle defense, that isn't a good idea. Tom um, Landry just voted best dressed in football once again. And has a good looking raincoat. Yeah. Everything. All matches. Dorsett right, on first down to the left side. A yard, no more. Ken Clark. Number 71, the nose guard, came out to make the stop. The reason I was saying it's so important to you throw on 
on first and second down is that on third down on passing downs the Eagles bring in those four defensive linemen and six defensive backs and that's the one that they got the sack on that defense they got the sack and the touchdown I think the Cowboys want to keep the Eagles out of that defense Tom Landry was saying to us yesterday that if you let the Eagles sit there in whatever defense they want to play they're tough to beat Got to make a move. Hits back door set. Nothing doing. Jerry Robinson, the Eagle tackler, and up very quickly. Looked like Dorsett had some room, and then it all disappeared. I'll tell you who made that play, though. It's a strong safety. Randy Logan came up into the backfield and forced, and, and the, the tackle was pulling Jim Cooper, and he made Dorsett cut when he really didn't want to. Let's see if we can see it here. We'll see Logan coming right up in here, the tackle blocking him here, and that's what made and that, that's what made for a set cut. The, the chalkboard's not working. I was drawing it, it didn't go up in there. Some difficulties again. <laughs> Danny White out of the shotgun. Good time. Pass complete Timmy Newsom. That'll be enough for a first down. He's knocked out of bounds in front of the Dallas bench by Jerry Robinson. Can see what is happening, and the forecast is even more unpleasant than at that site. You know, the good thing about this, Pat, is this stadium you know, has that, that hole up on top, and it doesn't rain on the fans. But it does rain on the plate. Yeah, I always thought that was kind of funny. You know, protect the fans and let the players get soaked. Look at the fans. They probably don't even know it's raining. Now look at the players. Talking about ice storms developing later in the day and a tough day to move around. Be careful. First and ten, Cowboys. Ball is up to Philadelphia 44. Dorsett comes way out to the right side. Something going on rather funny. Danny White finally calls a timeout. He really let Dorsett run too long to see that Dorsett was either going to continue on and go to the Philadelphia bench or turn up field, which would have been a penalty. It looked like he got himself after the motion in a formation that he didn't want or couldn't run to play from. He said, well, I'll take a timeout and go over and talk to the coaches about it. While they talk, let's run, and run down some of the other scores. Tampa Bay beat Detroit, keeps their playoff hopes alive, 23-21. The Buccaneers, I mean, Green Bay also alive. Atlanta's already in the playoffs. Green Bay 38, Falcons 7 in Atlanta. San Francisco keeps their playoffs alive. Playoff hopes. 26-13 over Kansas City. We even beat Houston 20-14. Woeful year for the Oilers. Pittsburgh 37, New England 14. Bradshaw out of his slump, obviously. Cincinnati 24, Seattle 10. Word on Howard Richards is that he has a sprained ankle. And we really don't know whether or not he will return. My guess is that he will not. Herbert Scott, of course, will take his place. It's not bad when a player gets injured and you replace him with a Herb Scott, who's been an all-pro guard. Of course, he had that knee injury in the preseason. He's just working himself back into the lineup. Fourth quarter score, you saw St. Louis leading the Giants 24-21. Both of those people still with playoff possibilities. Set in motion. The door set. Roy Nell Young knows that one perfectly maybe too perfectly he's down well, he had time to think about that play because that was the same play that the Cowboys were going to run before they took the timeout. They just put Tony Dorsett out here in motion ran everyone downfield threw the ball out quickly to Dorsett but Roy Nell Young saw it boom he was right up there Richard Blackmore would take Young's place if he can't continue. Here's the play. Watch it. Here comes, here comes Young up. You see, it looks like he may have put his helmet right on Dorsett's left knee. Young's 
still there. I think you're right, John. He just caught that knee at, at a very, very inopportune time. There's still a 10. There are so many things that can happen with the Super Bowl tournament format. So many teams still alive that it's difficult to put all those things together before the afternoon is through. Young, encouragingly up to his sitting position. Washington seven, New Orleans nothing. The Redskins, of course, tied with Dallas with their record of six and one. It's the game that they moved back. Starting time: Chicago Bears seven, the Rams nothing. For the Rams, they played well. Yeah, one, there may be one good point there. They weren't ahead. The other game, they get ahead and then they lose the lead. Now they're behind. If they can play better from behind. Dorsett is the lone setback. Second down, 11. Dorsett draw. And Tony gets down to about the 37 yard line, about a two yard short uh, first down yardage. John Bunning tripped him up. Of course, with one back in the backfield, the Cowboys are trying to show that this is a pass formation, passing formation. Danny White just goes back like it's a drop back, hands the ball to Dorsett on a delay or draw play. Picked up about seven yards and puts him in a good third down and two or three. Like about three. John Punning, who made the stop calls, the defensive signals after he gets what they want from Marion Campbell over in the sideline. White in the rain. Comes up with it. Was hit back. But he had the first down yardage hit by Robinson. First down, Dallas. I'll tell you one thing, that ball is coming out a lot on these plays. These these eagle, or this eagle defense is really doing a lot of hitting out there. You know, they want to jolt that ball loose, but Cosby did a good job of holding on after he made the catch. Rain continues. Cold rain. He's positive. On first and ten, out flank to the right. Billy Joe Dupree also in the game. At the Cosby in motion. Take the door set. Inside. Intended for Cosby, who went in and came back out. Couldn't hang on. The thing about the Cowboys, they've always had a tall tight end. Duck Cosby's a starter now. He's six foot six. Billy Joe Dupree, of course, is six foot four, and those guys really give a quarterback big targets to throw to. So it'll be second and ten from the Eagle 33 for Dallas. White is four out of five so far. Second and ten. Tony Hill out wide to the left. Cosby lined up as the flanker to the right. Motion. Nothing doing. Logan came up to make the force quickly, and Clark made the stop. Those of you who watch the Cardinals keep their playoff hopes alive, 24-21 over the Giants. Welcome to Texas Stadium. The score here is Philadelphia 7, Dallas nothing. Pat Summerall with John Madden, another Eagle player is injured. Hairston. Harrison, beg your pardon. They both are down. Philadelphia 7, Dallas nothing. The Eagles lead Dallas 7 nothing. We're still in the first quarter. 4.38 left to play. In the rain at Texas Stadium. Danny White fumbled, was recovered by Philadelphia in the end zone for the only score. Wayne now Young just came back. He was out for two plays. He injured his neck a little, but he's back in now. Harvey Armstrong has replaced Dennis Harrison in the Eagle defense. They go with four down linemen now as Butch Johnson goes left in motion. From the shotgun, good snap. Fight is hit and really clobbered. be one of 
one of those 15 yards for roughing the pass or it'll be an automatic first down or first down for the Cowboys. By the way, we told you just a minute ago. Let's see. Personal foul, number 71, roughing the passer, offensive pass interference. We'll replay the down. Replay the down. Now, is that right? That won't be a first down. Yeah, the defensive penalty. Uh, of roughing the passer and of course the offense had offensive pass interference so they just nullify each other and they play it again now, of course that's one of those things I really don't think is right because you shouldn't get the personal foul and punished let's see if we can find the there it is right there you see what happened we saw the receiver come down and run into a defensive back it was a pick so that's the Cowboys penalty now let's watch number 71 Ken Clark he's coming right up the middle Okay, the ball is gone from Danny White, and it looked like they got him. Did you see that right hand? It looked like it hit him in the head. So they replay the down. It'll be third and ten. By the way, the Cardinals' victory over the Giants clinches the playoff first for them. It's quite a story, too, isn't it? The surprise teams in the NFL this year, St. Louis Cardinals. Newsom in motion. Shotgun formation for White again. You talk about a pass that was perfectly thrown. Here it is. Right, and it was against the Eagles. There's six defensive backs. Watch number 86. There's Butch Johnson. He's the inside man. He's going to run a post up the field. Now he's going to go in towards the post. There's one defender short, one defender long. Catches a fight between them both for a touchdown. What a great throw by Danny White. Raphael set the end now with Glenn Carano holding. We'll try to even the score. And 7-7 uh, seven, seven at Texas Stadium. Boy, that's worth another look. That touchdown. Let's take a look at how it... Danny White fell when he felt when he was throwing that ball. It's a four-man rush, four defensive line. There's big Dennis Harrison hitting him just as he throws the ball. So we'll go again from the shotgun. Do the pressure on him. He just had to, it was a timing pass. Hit the post right up over the deep man to Butch Johnson. You can't throw it any better than that. Philadelphia 7, Dallas 7. This is what's wish everybody a happy holidays from just the two of us, CBS and Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> well, thank you, Butch. That was before the game. He looked like he knew he was going to do it, didn't he? Set the end to kick off. You saw the score in drive. Wally Henry. 25, 30. Inside the 40, good return by Henry. Jeff Rohr knocked him out of bounds. 40-yard return and a good one. You know, that roughing uh, penalty really hurt the Eagles because that was an incomplete pass. The Eagles are the fewest, deep, the fewest penalized teams in the league. 7-7, seven, seven. Eagles Cowboy. watch that touchdown one more time here's Richard Blackmore the defensive back he's playing man-to-man -man on Butch Johnson he has deep help from John Shire now watch Butch Johnson just runs right by him here and then right into the post now watch what that see up there Blackmore should get a bump on him, up on the line of scrimmage he doesn't get the bump you see that Butch Johnson's right by him now Shire should get over he gets over too late and the perfect pass for the touchdown and 10 at the 45. 3.59 left first quarter. Leroy Harris and Wilbert Montgomery. Two running backs, Harold Carmichael put wide to the left. Spagnola in motion, comes to block. Montgomery with room. Wilbert Montgomery out of bounds at about the 43-yard line in Dallas territory. Michael Downs closest to him. 12-yard gain. Good one. It's interesting that the, that, that the Eagles are having their running success to the left side here. Good block by Leroy Harris. 
You can see why he's starting a fullback, and that was a block that would spring Montgomery to the outside for the first down. Spagnola is the man in motion. Let's watch him. He turns to see if he gets a good block right there in the linebacker, Guy Brown, that just holds him up enough for Montgomery to get outside. You want to see the Smith. Another first down for Philadelphia. Inside the Dallas 30, 14 yard pickup. The Eagles look pretty sharp. They sure do. This looks like one of those games like uh, a San Diego and San Francisco or San Diego and Cincinnati where they have that type of thing. Up and down the field. Worski with hands in pockets, checking over with Dick Vermeil over on the sideline. The Eagles trying to keep hopes alive. And trying to beat Dallas. Hopes, playoff hopes don't really enter into that. They always would love to beat this team. Montgomery bounces off one tackle, hit by John Dutton first, and then finally goes down in the grasp of Everson Wall. I think it's interesting, you know, uh, last night Dick Vermeil was a little worried about Frank Giddens starting there at right tackle and having to block too tall against the pass. He said, against the run, I don't worry about it because he's one of the best run blockers that we have. And at six foot seven, 300 pounds, that's not a, that's a pretty big guy. You know, he's one of 10 kids. One of the few times that too tall faces somebody on an equal physical status, at least, in terms of regular size, is Montgomery's gun. Arms on the stop. Right now, for an update, let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. That here's the play that kept the San Francisco playoff hopes alive. Kansas City was driving for a winning touchdown. Ronnie Lott, the star of a year ago, will step up and intercept Bill Kinney's pass. He'll go the distance, 83 yards. The Niners win it 26 to 13. And right now, let's send you back to Pat Summerall and John Madden in Dallas. At rainy Texas Stadium, Brent. Third down and four with 2.13 left. The Eagles with no success. Only once did they win here in this ballgame. Montgomery inside the 20. First down, Philadelphia to about the 17. Too tall, Jones tripped him up. The Eagles had a lot of movement on that play. They were shifting back and forth. And of course, the Cowboys had their pass defense in. There's six defensive backs. They had a lot of adjustments while they were in the middle of, the, of an adjustment. Jaworski just snapped the ball and handed it off to Robert Montgomery. This 7-7, seven, seven, excuse me. And I was just saying, I think he caught the Cowboys defense a little off balance there. 44 yards and seven carries for Montgomery. He's the lone setback now. Spagnola in motion. Robert. Outside Spagnola. 15, 14, 13. Guy Brown and Dennis Thurman knocked him down. Here's Spagnola. He lines up at the tight end on the right side, comes across to the left side. That makes that strong. Up the field, just a short little out, catches the ball, turns up, and gets a good position. Let's watch Randy White here. He's He's number 54 right here. See, he's getting double teamed right through the thing. Boom, boom. And they put him right out of his back. He looks up. Where's that ball going? Second and five. Jaworski outside Montgomery. Chased by White. Montgomery head over. Here's a good one. Hit by Everson Wall. And Dennis Thurman. Shoulder pad back in, Dennis. You, know, you always talk about running backs. Great running backs can smell that end zone. And when they get close, just boom, you know, they're just going to hit that thing. Watch what Montgomery does here. He can smell the end zone right here on the five. He tries to dive from the five-yard line into the end zone, and he only came up a yard short. What a hit. Montgomery's okay. That's the end of the first quarter with a score. The Philadelphia Eagles, seven. And Dallas seven. But the Eagles back at the door once again, trying to recapture that lead. Philadelphia seven, Dallas seven. First and goal, Eagles. 
at the Dallas one. Yards rushing. 44 all by Montgomery for Philadelphia. 46 a total of 90. Hans Jaworski calls him and brings him out of the huddle. First play of the second quarter, score tied seven apiece. Pat Summerall with John Madden. Three tied in. Leroy Harris makes it look easy. Waltzes into the end zone behind Montgomery's block. I tell you, he got another good block by his left guard, Steve Kenny. We'll see it here. See, there's only one back in the backfield. Now watch the, the left guard, number 73, pull out. You see, he comes here, turns back to the inside, and gets the middle linebacker, Danny Spradlin, and that's the block to put Leroy Harris in the end zone. Guards. I like those guards pulling out, turning back, blocking linebackers, that type of stuff. Just Especially stuff. in the rain. In the rain, yeah, but there's no mud. <laughs> What's wrong with artificial turf? Rain doesn't make mud. John Shira will hold for Tony Franklin. The barefoot's got to be cold today. 14-7. Put it off here over Dallas. 14-57. Left to play in the first half. The Eagles team today with a serious idea. That's the story of the Eagles scoring drive. Eight plays, 55 yards. They kept it four minutes, 13 seconds. Leroy Harris scored the touchdown. Fellows and Newsom back deep for the Cowboys as Fellows comes up. Handles it about the 14 and Fellows fumbles. Angelo King fell on it. But I think one more time he was down and the whistle had blown. Jamona is the one who made the hit. Watch Jamona come in here. Fellows is just starting up. He just tripped him there. The ball goes down again. Of course, the ground can't cause a fumble. So Fellows had the ball when he hit the ground. And when he hit the ground, the ball bounced out. But that's that's a couple too many times you do that. You know, that's the second time Fellows has fumbled on a kickoff return. First and 10 from the 28. Philadelphia 14, Dallas 7. Drew Pearson goes in motion to the right. right. A lot of time. Still a lot of time. Cosby had it, dropped it. Let's watch Dennis Harrison here, number 68, the leading sacker in the NFL. He's going against Jim Cooper and, of course, going against Kirk Peterson. They have him double. The tackle on him, the guard on him, the guard on him, the tackle on him, boom, boom. That's the way you take care of the leading sacker in the league. You put two guys on him. Good job by Peterson. Get his balance. Don't frustrate a defensive lineman. You know, they get a little paranoid when you get two blocking. You beat one. Then you expect to see the quarterback next. Not another blocker. Second and ten from the 28. Pearson again in motion to the right. And off Dorset. Dorset ducks to the outside. Gets nothing. Loss by Jerry Robinson. Right now for an update. Let's once again go to Brent Musburger in New York. Pat Terry Bradshaw came back with a vengeance this afternoon against New England. He was 17 of 27 for 282 yards and two touchdowns. This one to running back Greg Hawthorne. And the Steelers are still in the hunt for the Super Bowl. Let's go back to Pat and John. Do not forget about those Pittsburgh Steelers. Not three weeks in a row. It's not going to happen to that team three weeks in a row. Once, maybe, twice surprises you, but it won't happen the third time. Third, 15. Shotgun formation, white. Screen pass. Ron Spring, and the Eagles have it defensively. Just perfect. Not even back to the line of scrimmage, and Danny White will have to come. Hey, the Eagles are really scrambling around that field on defense, and that was the thing that Dick said that they missed this year. You know, being number one, he said, we went to camp and thought we were number one, therefore we'll still be number one, and we didn't work enough on it. He said, the way we have to play, he said, we aren't that good. He said, we have to, everyone on every tackle, running all over the field, hitting and tackling. That's the way we have to play defense, and we haven't been doing it. Wally Henry, back deep for Philadelphia. Good pick. Away from him. 
Henry chases him way back and down quickly. And with a great job is Ron Fellows for Dallas. Good kick and what great coverage. That was Ron Fellows was the outside man on the right. Of course, the only two men that could go when the ball snapped were the two outside men. He was on the right side. He just flew down the field and got there about the same time the ball did. Wally Henry had no chance as Fellows was down in a hurry. 58 left to play in the first half. Philadelphia 14. Dallas 7. The Eagles have the ball at their own 27 yard line. Pat Summerall with John Madden. Texas Stadium. Montgomery the lone setback. Montgomery quickly to the outside. Breaks one tackle, but not another. As Michael Downs comes up quickly to make the stop. Right now for another update around the NFL, let's go to Brent Musburger. That the Cleveland Browns are still in the hunt for the playoffs. Left-handed quarterback Paul McDonald goes 18 of 34 for 248 yards. And this 56-yard touchdown pass to Dave Logan. The Browns come from behind to win it 2014. Back to Pat and John. Driving rain in Dallas. A first down on the pass from Jaworski. Michael Downs makes the tackle. 12 yard gain, however. This guy is an amazing athlete. He's, he's, of course, the best runner in the Eagle team. He's one of the best runners in the National Football League. He's also one of the best receivers on the team, if not the best receiver. So they can get the ball to him in a lot of different ways. First and 10 from their own 41. Spagnola comes in motion. Eagles with their two tight ends. Harris in front of Jaworski. Scramble for the football. Cowboys have it. Jaworski lost it. Bob Brunick made the recovery. Jaworski now, it's an I formation play. He didn't get the ball from the center. It looks like as he took the ball and he wanted to bring it in and make his reverse pivot for the handoff, he lost the ball. And Brunick came up with it. So the Cowboys will have it first and 10 in good shape. At the Eagle 36 as Philadelphia leads Dallas 14 to 7. Philadelphia 14, Dallas 7. Pat Summerall with John Madden at Texas Stadium where the Cowboys have just recovered a Ron Jaworski fumble. See that? He really didn't get it. The ball went right through his hands on the snap. I always think that's an automatic play, you know, but it's really, it's really a big play. Brunick made the recovery. Look at the Dallas Cowboys starting middle linebacker since they came into being. Jack Patera first. And Jerry Tubbs from 61 to 65, then the great Leroy Jordan. Around the right side, got about four. Got a bounce by Richard Blackmore. Right now, let's go again to Brent Musburger in New York. Pat, the Cincinnati Bengals pushed their record to 6-2. and two. Quarterback Kenny Anderson went 22 of 29, 255 yards. And this 56-yard scoring strike to David Mercer, a former top draft choice of the Bengals. Right now, let's go back to Dallas and Pat Summerall. The stadium, it's Philadelphia 14, Dallas 7. We're in the second quarter with 12.09 left to play. possession so far. Dallas has had the football. Philadelphia, however, has the lead. Second and six at the 32. Costler started in motion. White. Outside quickly. Tony Hill. Nothing doing. Very slow developing play. Ken Clark out there to make the stop. One thing that Tony Hill should know by now that against this Eagle defense, it's always been a swarming defense. But if you get that ball, you better not dance with it. Get it and take it straight up the field. Tony Hill did a little dance out there, and a whole bunch of those green shirts came out and said hello. You should do your dancing upfield. Tom Landry. Four. Osby again does 
shuffling. White does the throw. And back there with the intended receiver. Ooh, that was a late one, Pat. That, that official looked like he was talked into that one. He didn't say anything, and then Doug Cosby started to complain, started to point to Jerry Robinson, and then the flag came out. Whoa. If you're going to call it, call it right now. Defensive pass interference. First down. First down. Watch it. Here's, here's Cosby. He's the number 84. Watch. He'll come up. There's Jerry Robinson, 56. Robinson hit him there. That's legal. He runs into him now. And you see there's nothing there. There's no flag. Now watch Cosby point to him. He said he did it. Now watch the flag go. That's one of those talking into something. I think it could have been called a penalty, but if you're going to call it, call it when it happens. That was someone talking to you about it. First down. 11-19 left to go in the first half. Pearson in motion. White fakes. Again, the receiver, he got about four or five, down to about the 15, 16 yard line. Perhaps. Looked a little shaky. That's the thing, you know, the, with the Cowboys, they can send those receivers out, those wide receivers and running backs. Then they just let that tight end work from sideline to sideline underneath all that linebacker coverage. You know, when you have a big target like a Doug Cosby, a Billy Joe Dupree, you can always find those guys when you get in trouble. Off his 6-6. Six, six. Dupree 6-5. Six, Second down. Six to go. North set. Down the corner. Near first down. Down to about the 11-yard line. Got a man by John Bunnett. And the interesting thing about that is the is the block that sprung that play that made it possible, besides great running by Tony Dorsett, was Drew Pearson, number 88. Let's see if we can watch it here. Now, it's a reverse play. See, Dorsett starts to his left, does a little turn. Now, he comes out here, gets by Harrison. Now, watch in the right of your screen. Right there, 88, Drew Pearson got that block, and that's the one that sprung Dorsett to the outside. You know, it's interesting. We were talking to Jerry Tubbs about that, about how when a wide receiver blocks, you usually get a big game. Third down and one. Dorsett drops it. Dallas has it back. Well, the conditions like this are very conducive to the ball being on the artificial turf very often. Well, the biggest job that the officials have to do in a game like this is to keep the footballs dry. Of course, they have a number of balls here. They can throw them in and out, but they should keep a towel on it when it's on the ground. Fourth down, a big decision here. Looks like the Cowboys are going to go for it. Herbert Scott is the man who made the recovery. Newhouse comes into the Dallas backfield now. Jay Salvi, their third tight end. 30 second clock down to 10 seconds now. They got to hurry. The Eagles are tough in short yardage defense. Cosby is wide open. Touchdown. What a great call. Because it worked. It was a great call for you. Doug Cosby from Danny White. Fourth and about a foot they had. Shades of Park Star. That's the time to do it. That fourth and a foot, you got that short yardage defense anchored in there. Fake them, hold them, boom, sneak that tight end there. That's the kind of year it's been for the Eagles. With all respect to Dallas, because they executed well. Raphael Septien with Toronto holding. All even at 14. Fourth down, short yardage. Defense anchored in there. Watch number 84, Cosby. He doesn't even look like he's going to block. He just pushed the linebacker, John Bunning, to the outside. And he ran a corner route. No defenders there. What do you think the coach does on a play like that? There's Tom Landry. Let's look and see what he did. Put his hand in his pocket, turned away, handed someone his card. 
Yes, it's all in a day's work. That was Jim Myers. He handed his, his note, note list to. All in a day's work. 14 apiece. I'm Tom Landry, and I want to, on behalf of the Dallas Cowboys, I want to wish all the listeners a very happy new year. Very happy moment. Just seconds ago for Tom Landry. Septian kicks off Wally Henry and Mel Hoover. Back deep for the Eagles. This is Henry. Fellow made first contact. Henry spun away from him, got after the 25, where the Eagles take over first and 10. They've been able to move the football. Scoring drive by Dallas. The touchdown, 11 yard pass on fourth and short to Doug Cosby. Six plays, 36 yards, 313. You see where Septian kicked off from? He kicked off from the right hash mark. There's a lot of water on the 35 yard line right in the middle of the field. And the kicker can choose. He can kick off in the middle or anywhere between the two hash marks. So he kicked off from the right hash mark. You see, that's good there. You see that that uh, rain in the middle there? So he decided he didn't want to step in that, so he went over to the right hash mark. He kicked. Pretty kick. smart. All kickers are not stupid. Smart kicker, Raphael Septien. 8.51 left first half, 14-14 score, Spagnola in motion. Montgomery has the football. Montgomery barrels out to about the 30. Pick up a three or four. Bob Brunig led the defensive charge. Let's look at some of the other scores around the league. San Diego 16-0 over Baltimore. Poor Frank Bush. The Raiders 17, Denver nothing. Poor Dan Reed. Chicago 17, the Rams 6. Washington 7, New Orleans 7. Don't forget about New Orleans. They played Dallas tough last week. Ron Jaworski trying to keep things warm. Five out of six so far, 58 yards. The lone setback is Leroy Harris. Second and six. Jaworski Spagno. Guy Brown knocks it down, left the ball on the ground. Dallas picks it up, and it's on the ground again. But the ball's going to be blown dead. That's the third time we've seen that in this game where there's a fumble. Again, the officials decided that, that it was either the whistle had blown or that the fumble was caused by the ground. But that's the third time we've seen that in this half. That was an interesting pass. Three wide receivers. They all went deep. Spagnola came underneath, and he was all by himself. Jaworski's booked against the Cowboys. One interception today by Everson Walls. Again, blowing on his hands to try to stay warm. Oh, rain continues to fall. Montgomery. Wilbert. Hit down just shy of the 50 by Ed Jones. With a lot of help from a lot of friends. Let's watch Ed Jones there. He's playing against big Frank Giddens. As he moves to the outside. Giddens is trying to block him. He gets his hands on him. Plays off. Finds Montgomery and tackles like a linebacker. Technique very well done there by Ed Jones. Right at midfield. Montgomery 55 yards, 10 carries. Harris Ballone set back. Montgomery is split wide to the right. Draw play, Leroy Harris. Up great authority is Benny Barnes. About your textbook technique, picture play. There's one. Let's watch Benny Barnes. He's a strong safety. He's playing here. He's playing against Montgomery. He sees it's a draw. Plays off Montgomery. Makes a tackle in the backfield. Look at that rain stuff fly around there. See that water? I like that. No mud though. There's a lot of water. Slide, you know, like one of those water slides. As Carmichael in motion out of the shotgun penalty markers down as Jaworski fires, the 30 second clock had expired. The Eagles took too much time. Had Haggerty. You always felt.
Well, I think, John, that he was a lot of good officials around, but that he was one of the best. I sure he did. I had a lot of respect for Pat Haggerty. I thought he was always one of the best referees in the league. You know, he never changes. No matter what happens, things get tight, they get exciting, they get argumentative, whatever. Pat Haggerty stays the same. Always calm, he's cool, he's collected. I always had a lot of respect for that guy. Third and 13 for Philadelphia. Ron Jaworski. Under fire in Philadelphia. But in the eyes of his head coach, Dick Vermeil, he still continues to do a very, very fine job. Anthony Dickerson came firing and flying through with help from Ed Jones. First sack, loss of 11. Let's watch it from the end zone. We'll see Dickerson, number 51. He comes from the right side of the screen. He's on a blitz. We'll see two tall Jones coming from the left. Look, there's Dickerson. Jaworski feels it. And there's Jones right there, the two of them. Have to pick up those blitzes. Max Runniger back to punt for Philadelphia. Pittsburgh leads the league. This is the way the day began. A number of sacks fellows back deep for Dallas. In the water and the rain. Good kick by Runniger. Fellows chase it over the sideline, goes out of bounds. Good kick. Under the circumstances, an excellent kick. minutes 19 seconds left to play in the first half at Texas Stadium and the Dallas Cowboys 14 and the Philadelphia Eagles 14. I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish all the people all over the country a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And John Madden and Pat Summerall would like to just add their good wishes to that too. Philadelphia 14, Dallas 14. Seemed to be in a very good mood last night, didn't he? He sure was. He seemed confident. Yes. 14-14 to score. Dorsett is out. Newsom is in with Spring. Springs outside the 25 or the 26. Dallas 14, Philadelphia 14. Rainy, icy. That you get some rain on those face masks. You know, but you need them. There's a little mud, a little dirt, and a little grass yeah. hanging down there between those bars. What's the trouble with this? Oh, dude, come on, dude. Everything, went, everyone stays too clean. You know, you don't feel like you're down there in the pit. Oh, you know, doing all that stuff. Hey, y'all. The springs. Second and two. A little grass on the face mask. Never. End off spring. Wrapped up quickly by Carl Hairston, Ken Clark. <laughs> Might have gotten a first down. He'd be close. Carl Hairston is probably one of the best defensive linemen against the run in this league. You know, the Eagles play a three-man line on running downs, and they flex the ends. They play back a little. And Hairston could play inside or outside, and he'll make tackles up and down the line of scrimmage, just like a linebacker. Second on the Eagles with his number of sacks. Third and short. Third and one. Three tight ends for Dallas. Dorset. With the extra effort, came close. Not really sure he made the first down. Ken Clark was the first Eagle to make contact. I'll tell you, if he did, it was a heck of an effort. Jerry Robinson was in the backfield too, and he hit him before he got to the line of scrimmage. They're going to measure, but uh, Tom Landry really has already conceded. He doesn't think they made it. He said we got to punt the ball. Let's watch it and see if we can see Jerry Robinson come in here. He's he's the inside linebacker on the right. You see him shoot the hole right there. Now right in there, he gets a shot. That was Ken Clark there. Excuse me, that wasn't Robinson. Ken Clark, the nose tackle, moves to the left, got penetration. Any short yardage, you really can't allow penetration by the defensive line. I'm sure that the Eagles are very much aware of what Danny White might do from punt formation and has done. You run out of there if you're not careful. Wally Henry's back here. and made the hit, but 
but White got the first down. Can't believe he did it again. You call that one. <laughs> we were talking to Tom Landry about that yesterday. He said, I have no idea when he's going to do it. He said, sometimes that just makes my heart fly. Watch it here. Now, what he's keying is the defense to see if they turn, the return team. You see, he sees them turn. You see him turn? The green turn, he runs right in behind him, just gets to the line for the first down. That is a gutsy, gutsy call when you're in that area of the field. Woo! In his career, yes, he calls that himself, of course. We talked to Coach Landry about it yesterday. 20 times he has run out of punt formation, and 17 times he's gotten a first down. Here's Dorsett. Nothing doing as Carl Harrison wraps him up short of the line of did you see that play? We were talking about Carl Harrison. He's a right end. Look, he's way over here in the left-handed stand. Now watch him. He's off. He takes the inside, comes flattens down the line, and tackles Tony Dorsett in the backfield on the other side of the field. Good hustle. Good play. Lost a yard, second and 11. We'll have the two-minute notification before they run another play as White already has started to stroll over to talk with his coach. So with two minutes left to play in the first half at Texas Stadium, it's Dallas 14 and the Philadelphia Eagles 14. Year's Eve. And don't forget the Cotton Bowl. New Year's Day with the Pittsburgh Panthers against SMU. Great athletes for both of those teams. And Marino, who is, as a matter of fact, in the booth with us, will be able to talk to him about what he thinks of SMU and the Cotton Bowl at halftime. Second and 11. Two minutes to play first half. Point. Oh, knocked away, almost intercepted by John Bunny. And some wet green patches, but no defenders in between him and the goal line. Excuse me, Excuse me. That's a linebacker's dream, Pat, because he saw that one. Watch it be in the right-hand side of the screen. We'll see there's supposed to be a quick pass out here. Bunting starts up the field, sees Dorsett going to the outside, gets between Danny White and Tony Dorsett, and darn near at six points. This guy's dream of that. That'll make it third and 11. the number one offensive team in the NFC. Springs was the man in motion. White, good protection. Throws. Had a first down drop. On Mansfield, back there on defense. And Danny White will once again go back and pass in punting formation. This time, I don't think Johnny will run. Uh, I don't think so either, but he was thinking that last one went all for naught. He did it. He got the first down. And then, of course, they go three downs so and they have to punt again. Tom Landry's probably yelling, punt, 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 Danny, please. Wally Henry back deep for the Eagles. And this time he will. Another good kick. And once again, Fellows is down quickly. Misses this time, but there. Dallas coverage is good. Danny Spradlin, 45-yard kick and a minimal return. Dallas does a good job covering. Good kick by White. 14-14, 141 left first. Half. Pat Summerall with John Madden, Texas Stadium, the home of the Cowboys. Tied at 14 with the Philadelphia Eagles. Cowboys need a victory to ensure themselves of the home field advantage throughout the playoffs. The Eagles need a victory to stay alive in the playoff chase. Jaworski outside Montgomery. And it, Ron Smith, the bigger pardon, passes picked off by Dennis Thurman, and now they say no. I think they say yes. I yes, think they, they do. Now they do, yes. They say it's an interception. But Dennis Thurman was down, so the Cowboys will get the ball back there. What do you have to do? Throw it right into Ron Smith's arm. Watch here. Here's Dennis Thurman. 
Ron Smith is coming off the line. He's going to run a little stop or hook pattern. Now watch, the ball is thrown right in his chest. He has it, starts to run. It bounces out of his hands right into Dennis Thurman's hands. The official blew the ball dead right there. Talking to Dennis before the game, he said, when I get my first interception, say hello to Bob. And when I get my second one, say hello to whoever you want to. So hi, Mom. <laughs> Boys, the Eagle 37. First and 10. Hoskins. The move man. And White put to the work. Going for Cosby, who is open and got it. Cosby inside the 10 to about the 7. John brought him back there with him and dragged him out of bounds. the Cowboys lulled him to sleep on this one, Pat. They've been running Cosby across the motion like this. Now watch him. He comes across. He runs a little short out. Go on, Doug. Up the field and now out. They've been throwing the ball there. Now he stops, turns, gets Bunning to come up, turns and runs right by him up the field. I think they lulled him. They've been throwing that short out to him all day and they started that out. Boom, and then turned and right up the field. And he did a very good job of acting himself. Slowing down, looking back. Turn it on and up. Five catches for Cosby. Off the left side, Dorsett this time. Inside the five. Mark running a minute, 20 seconds left first half. Cowboys have two timeouts. The Eagles have all of air. I'm sure the Cowboys don't want to take a timeout here. They want to eventually score, but they want to run as much time off the clock as they can so that when they score, the Eagles won't have any time to do anything. This half. From the four, second down, and goal. The tight end set up, this is Salvi. Set up to the left, there's a flanker now in motion. He's inside trap that they've run for years. Dorsett behind Salvi, down to about the two. I used to always say that, you see Jay Salvi come in, and you watch him in motion and follow him, and he'll show you where the ball's going. Watch him. He's a man here, 87. Watch, just, just follow him, see? Lead, he leads right in there, and watch what's coming right in behind him. The ball and Tony Dorsett. Third down in from the two, 25 seconds left to play, and the clock's still running. I bet it's that play pass type of thing that they've already scored once on. The Cowboys are going to take time out now see what Tom Landry's thinking, but they've had great success with that fake and a run to Dorsett, bootlegging out with a quarterback, Danny White, and he has the option to run or pass. One time, time out straight. remaining. They return after this word. The preceding message was brought to you by the National Football League, and thank you, Frank Lamaster. 14-14, that's the timeout situation. Cowboys have it third and goal at the two with 15 seconds remaining in the first half. But the rain has stopped, at least for the moment. Maybe a little bit still drifting down. Third down. Springs and Dorsett. And Salvi sets up to the left. Off once again, Dorsett didn't make it. Carl Heston, first man to hit him. Now, what do the Cowboys do? They have five seconds. You got Fourth down. I think the fact Time that they out. ran the ball. I think the fact that they ran the ball. Let's watch the linebacks here. I think they're going to go for it on fourth down, is what I'm trying to say. You see both the inside linebackers hitting the hole. That was Jerry Robinson there who made contact at the line of scrimmage. Dallas has just used their last timeout. I don't think they're going to use the kicker. I think when they decided to run, they said, we'll go for it once. If we don't get it, we'll run it a second time. He's getting a little help over there. It looks like, is that Drew Pearson on the left who's offered us some suggestions? Jim Myers okay. behind him. They're going to kick it. Now they've decided that it's time for Septian. But again, don't forget that his holder, Lynn Carano, is also a quarterback. The other thing we 
can't forget is that was very good goal line defense by the Philadelphia Eagles. The ball is just inside the one yard line, fourth down. And Coach Landry has decided uh, let's go ahead and kick it. Toronto will kneel at about the 18, about the 8, making it an 18 yard field goal. And it steps all together. And yes, sir. Dallas captures the lead. Both teams back on the field. 17-14 the score. The Cowboys on an 18-yard field goal with two seconds remaining in the first half. Took the lead for the first time today. The Cowboys will receive the one of the most bitter rivalries in the history of the NFL. You know those guys, John? You always wonder what goes on in the truck down there. Now we see they just sit around wishing each other Merry Christmas. So uh, those who make our job so easy, sitting down in the truck underneath Texas Stadium. Tony Franklin will kick off. Ron Fellows and Timmy Newsom back deep for Dallas. It's Fellows at the five. Pretty good looking wedge in front of him. And now it all comes apart and Fellows is down at the 24 by Mike Curcio. Halftime stats, first downs, nine for Philadelphia, eight for Dallas. And the rest of that story. I'll tell you, the big part of the story is the turnovers there. You look, the Eagles had three turnovers. The Cowboys only had one, and that's the big difference here because the Eagles offensively and defensively really played well. And it's just the turnovers that have put them behind by three. Dallas first down. 14-51 left to go, third quarter. Dallas ball at their own 24. Dorset and Springs, the two runners. Dorset goes very, very good. Ten yards back of the ball. Springs carry and Springs gets Four five straight ahead. Stopped by Frank Lamaster. We we're talking about the Eagle defense really playing well today. They've had Tony Dorsett's number in the first half. He carried the ball 16 times. He had 25 yards for a 1.6 average. So they're keying on number 33 today. Tony Dorsett, of course, I'm sure you know, had some chest pains. There was some doubt about whether or not he'd be able to play. Doctors gave him a 100% okay. Still, he is obviously concerned. Second and five, first down. Drew Pearson dances out of bounds outside the 35-yard line. Roy Nell Young, the first man there. You know what they, you know what they found in Tony Dorsett is that he that he'd been hit in the back and he had a back spasm. And somehow the spasm from the back had gone around to his front and it caused chest pain. That scared him, so he went to the hospital at 2 o'clock in the morning thinking it could be something wrong with his heart. Of course, they found that it was a result of the back. Come on, Dave! Come on, Dave! Tom Landry has gone from being the best dressed to being just warm. But the coach now. That's your set in motion. This is Springs off to the left side. Nothing doing on first down by Lamaster first. Jerry Robinson over to help out. Maybe a yard, no more. Ron Springs has a tough job. You know, if the Cowboys are going to run the ball, they're going to run the ball to Tony Dorsett. So Ron Springs has to be a blocker. And then every once in a while, when they're keying on Dorsett, he's had a problem. They'll give the ball to Springs on some type of counter action. But you know, that has to be that type of player that is really a team player. And that's what Ron Springs has turned out to be. It'll be second and eight. That's what happened, what John Madden is talking about against the Redskins. Dorsett straight ahead. Couple. Ken Clark done a good job in front of Rafferty at the nose guard position today. So it'll be third down. Cowboys send in their pass receiving troops. I know that uh, during the half, John, Dick Vermeil was complaining rather vehemently to the officiating crew that the Cowboys were substituting too late. 
They waited until the last second before they sent anybody in. That's okay to do if you don't have too many men in the huddle. If you have too many, you know, if you have 13 or 14 of them in the huddle, that's illegal. Third and five. White. Pass was in the direction of Springs, batted down by Jerry Robinson, and Danny White will have to punt. Been off some, uh, considering the weather conditions, the rain and the slick ball and everything else, Danny White and Runniger, his only attempt. Got off some good kicks in the first half. You yeah, were talking about that rule and uh, Dick Vermeil complaining. We, we, before we didn't have a rule about it, and you would put in like 14, 15 men in the defensive huddle, and then you would run three of them out just before the ball was snapped. Now you can't do that anymore, but you can substitute anytime you want to. Rafferty will snap to White. This one he doesn't get. Wally Henry watches it go out of bounds, and the Eagles will take over at their own 23-yard line, first and 10. Their first possession of the second half, 35-yard punt by White. That's Coach Tom Landry. Rep. Christmas package. He's taking that award seriously, isn't he? That best dressed man. Best dressed reindeer man. First down, Philadelphia. 23. Ron Jaworski, of course, the quarterback. Just back, no lane motion. Pitches back to Wilbert Montgomery. Montgomery hit down by Michael Downs. But good yardage, about seven for Wilbert. Harvey Martin helped out. That play to the left has been very successful for the Eagles. They haven't gained much going to their right, but working back outside of Harvey Martin, running right at Guy Brown, has been successful. Second down, about three. Here's what happened on first down play so far. The Eagles rushes 10, passes four. The average 4-2 running, 4-8 passing. Neither one is too bad. Still trail by three. Montgomery has a first down tipped up by Bob Bruni. Yeah, they find something over there that they like. Running to this left, left side. Now watch Montgomery here. See a pretty good block there again by Leroy Harris. <laughs> watch what happens when he hits the ground. It occurs to me, John, that we have not once today except when he was double teamed, mentioned the name Randy White. I don't think we've mentioned Harvey Martin too much. Not much. First and 10 from the 34. Spagnola again doing the moving. Worski throw. Brunick chasing. Worski just throws it away. Closest eagle, but nobody was really close to that one. That was one thing that Jaworski had to do there on second and long. He, he scrambled out to the right. He really didn't. He had one fast receiver short, one deep, neither of them open. So he didn't want to force anything, so he just threw it away. Said at least we can play with third down now. Some of the other scores, third quarter, Washington 17, New Orleans 7. The Jets 21, Minnesota 7. And San Diego beating Baltimore 22 to 10. Colt still wins. Harry Harrington is the lone setback this time for Philadelphia. What's the outside Harrington? Blockers in front. Good yardage. About nine. Everson Walls came up to make the force. Guy Morris out in front of Harrington. Ed Jones in pursuit. Because that's one of those things that, you know, you want to get the ball back, get something back. And we see the screen pass. We see Harrington out here. He's running out to the right. It's a screen pass. The lineman can come down in front of him. We see Guy Morris. He's going to miss there. He doesn't get that block, and that allows Everson Walls to get in and make the tackle. Had, had Guy Morris blocked Walls, that would have been enough to get the Eagles a first down. It'll be third and three as it is. Eagles own 41 yard line. Woski. Fumble. Benny Barnes, I think, came up with a football. It was Leroy Harris 
who lost it, and Dallas has it. Hey, that's the fourth turnover for the Eagles. Boy, John, you go over those stats and you look at that big one right there, turnovers. And you look at who has the most turnovers and you see a lot of folks in that L column lost. My name is Rafael Septien, and I wish you a uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and in Spanish is Feliz Navidad y Prospero Año Nuevo. Ole. What was that second thing you said? I was going to ask you. I know Feliz Navidad. It's first down, Dallas, at their own 48-yard line. They lead 17-14. Fumble by the Eagles has given Dallas possession. Or set the lone setback. away from a few folks and he's got some room and he white down the sideline to the 31 yard line what a remarkable athlete he 19 yards that's what you need that quarterback that when he gets in trouble can get out he'll even smile a little about that one danny liked that one himself what happened it really didn't fool the eagle secondary Watch, this is the old flea flicker. Hand off to Dorsett. He stops. Pitches back to White. White's looking deep. There's no one there. Double coverage. Good job by Bernard Wilson deep. He has to run. Escapes to the outside. Sees the sideline. The first down. Gets it off. Down to the 33. Ron Springs with the long setback. This time, the pass of White. Penalty markers down from everywhere. Complete to Tony Hill. Flags come flying. The Eagles disgusted. Ben Haggerty will tell us why. Number 46, defense. Defensive pass on the first. Herman Edwards. Pass was complete. No it was complete. And you talk about threading a needle. Watch this one. You see Tony Hill out here. He's running a slant right there. Now watch, right between the corner and the linebacker, he just zipped that thing right in there. What a throw. Now that was a football throw. Excellent. First down, Cowboys. Eagle 21, 9.58 left third quarter. Dallas leading 17-14. Dorsett. Skates for a couple, and a penalty marker comes flying in once again. Look a little frustrated on defense. Face mask, five yards. Unintentional face mask violation. Carl uh, Harrison upset about things. You can't get too upset. Those things are going to happen. They're over with. The most important play is the next one. When you get two penalties in a row. It does kind of, you know, it, it frustrates you some. It's been a frustrating year for him. But doggone it, the play that's over is over. It's the next one. See if we can see the face mask here. Here's Dorsett coming in. Didn't gain any yardage right there at the line of scrimmage. Had to be called against Bunny. Hill knocked away on a great defensive play at the last second by Roynell Young. Tony Hill was thinking touchdown. Roynell made a good play. Hey, it's that little quick up. We'll see Danny White. You take a three threat up. One, two, three, boom. Put it up in the air. Throw it at that second pylon down there to Tony Hill. Good coverage by Roynell Young. Watch right at the end here. Roynell Young will get his hand up. See the left hand up and just knock the ball right out of Tony Hill's hand. Just perfect timing. There it is again. The left hand right up there knocking it out. Third down two from the 13. Drew Pearson hastily in motion. Blitz is on against Danny White. Gets away from one. Throws in zone. Intercepted. Jerry Robinson made the save, and the Eagles will come back to the 20. They, 
played for the Eagle defense. I know that the one thing Danny White knows is third down here. It's short yardage. And he can't take the loss, and he has to get rid of the ball. So what he does here is he forces the ball. See, he's, he's chased there by Dennis Harris, and he gets away from there. Had he gone out of bounds, he was fourth down. And of course, that would have been better than this. At least they would have had a shot at a field goal. Good defense. The Eagles will be back at their 20 after the interception by Robinson. Leading Philadelphia 17 14, third quarter. In Irving, Texas, the home of the Cowboys, not too far from that cotton bowl. Last four times the Eagles have had the ball, that's what's happened to them. Horsky, Billy Roy Harris. Harris bounces out of one pile. It is wrapped up by Guy Brown, right at the 21 yard line. You always tell that offside linebacker to stay at home, and that's the reason. The play starts to the right, Harris starts in there, there's nothing there, he bounces back to his left, and there's Guy Brown waiting for him. But sometimes you want those linebackers to be aggressive, you know, they all have that look in their eye, they're a little strange anyway, but you don't want them all just to run and jump on the pile, someone has to keep containment. So it's second and nine from the Eagle 21. Carl Jones did not encroach. But he did, he got back. Jaworski. Complete. Ron Smith. Outside the 40 to the 43. Dennis Thurman knocked him down. A 22-yard pickup. Yeah, in that play, the Eagles had good pass protection. You know, they, you know, we've talked about Frank Giddens starting in there and having to block two tall Jones. He's really doing a pretty good job. The Cowboys are trying to start and do different things to, you know, to confuse him, but he's blocking pretty well over there. Jaworski is now 9 out of 12 for 111 yards. The two interceptions, one of which certainly was not his fault. And the other was a good play by Wall. To the right here is Montgomery. This time a Dallas defense led by Brunig reacts quickly. But you know the Cowboys use that flex defense and that freeze the middle linebacker Bob Brunig and they've been having trouble on their right defensive side or the Eagles left side with that run to Montgomery. In fact they probably call some stunt that would free Brunig up so that he could get to the outside to scrape. That's what coaches call a straight technique. Cowboys leading tackler for the last five years. You would expect their defensive philosophy because he is the middle linebacker. And they try their best to keep blockers from getting at him. Second down. Jaworski. Under pressure. Gets it outside to Harris. Jimmy Barnes comes up. Forces inside. Mike Hegman and John Dutton knock him down about two yards short of a first down. Yeah, that was a fierce pass rush coming at Ron Jaworski. And he did a nice little job of moving there. Watch it from his left now. We'll watch it from the end zone. Jaworski will come back. Now watch from the left-hand side of your screen. There's a little stunt. See Harvey Martin coming inside. Jaworski feels that now. Feels Martin. Here comes White to the inside. Just goes to the outside and finds his fullback, Leroy Harris. Third down, one. Dallas 48. Leroy Harris has the Philadelphia first down, but penalty markers make another appearance. Nice little move by Harris because the Cowboys blitzed their middle linebacker, Bob Burnick, trying to blitz him in the hole. And Harris just made a little cut to his left. Encroaching, number 79, defense. There's encroaching. I was wondering what happened to it. Thanks, Pat. The old encroachment play. Watch the blitz. Now, watch the middle linebacker there. There's Burnick. See the guy in the back there. Watch him. He's starting to move before the ball snap. He's guessing that's a hole. He had the right hole, and then Leroy Harris made a nice little move to the left to get the first down. Took advantage of the block by Guy Encroaching for 79. Defense. The encroaching person was Harvey Martin. It's a 
If I were a defensive lineman, I'd rather have him say, hey, you were offside. I like, you know, the brother rather than broke. Either that or the neutral zone. I, I wouldn't want that. Yeah. Uh, coach would probably eat peace. <laughs> 6 22 left third quarter. 17 14 Dallas. Ball at the Cowboys 43. Jaworski. Montgomery. Montgomery off to the left. Once again, tripped up by Bob Bruning. Montgomery, 14 carries, 70 yards. He had a 90 yard touchdown run last week against Houston. Well, there are some running backs that get better the more they carry the ball in a game. I think Wilbur Montgomery is that type. He already has 70 yards. That's not bad. Tony Dorsett only has 32. Not a big day for Tony Dorsett, but a big day for Wilbur Montgomery to start of one. Second and seven. Dallas Fort. Dorsky deep. Ron Smith, the antenna receiver, back there with him, Everson Wall. to work on Everson Walls. It started last year. You, you know, I mentioned before he's a rookie free agent. But I'll tell you, you do that too many times and you're going to have one back coming back at you. See, that was a little stop and go. Started the outside stop. Now, he could have had a better shot at that had he run through it. He started to slow up to get his hands up and he just run through that ball. Ron Smith would have had a better chance to catch it. Jamona. Joins Montgomery in the backfield, the shotgun backfield for Philadelphia. Jaworski. Cowboys blitzing, gutting, chasing. Too tall Jones shipping. Takes him down. Big Ed Jones. I'll tell you, Ed Jones made the play, but the guy that caused it was Harvey Martin. Let's watch it from the end zone. Now here's Jaworski in a shotgun. Now watch from the left here. That's the first pressure he feels. Here comes Harvey Johnson. Here comes Too Tall Jones. He'll come up again. He makes a tackle, open field tackle, just like a linebacker. But Harvey Martin broke free, free right, right off the line. Made Jaworski run out, forced him out into Too Tall. The Cowboys see that shotgun. They come with a blitz, and that's the second sack that they've had. On Fellows back deep, and Runniger gets off a rocket. Fellows, the eight. Takes away from a couple of people. Inside the 20 to the 22. Zach Valentine came down to make the stop. 43 yard punt, 14 yard return by Ron Fellows. With 4.59 left third quarter, Dallas still leads by three, 17 14. Next Sunday, CBS Sports will bring you an NFL doubleheader, starting with the NFL today. Just as simply as it can be put, I suppose, those who have five victories or more are in the playoffs. Those who have three or four still have a chance. A lot of things can still happen next week as Green Bay's at Detroit, Atlanta, New Orleans, Rams at San Francisco. will be in Philadelphia next season. You see the people who have clinched playoff spots. They will go for the Super Bowl tournament. Dallas, Washington, Green Bay, Atlanta. All in already. White. Crosby complete. Out of bounds after about an eight-yard pickup. Knocked out of bounds by Randy Logan. Watch that Doug Cosby. He lines up all over the field. He lines up on the right side, goes to the left. The left side goes to the right. We'll see him here. He's outside as an outside receiver, which brings the strong safety. Randy Logan out there, man to man in the open field. Doug Cosby just runs a little out in front of him. Cosby, that big target, has caught six passes. Moving around. Go set. First down for Tony to the 35. Carl Harrison tripped him up. Dorsett picks up the Dallas first down. Clock running 440 left to play in the third quarter, and Dallas leading by three, 17 14. I'm not sure. I 
not be able to sleep. That's the day after Christmas. She had a big day yesterday. Santa Claus got there early. She had to play with the toys all day, the dolls and things. And today she's just completely exhausted. Maybe I would be able to sleep. Play to Dorsett. And Tony has some room. Another Dallas first down to the 45. Dennis Harrison made the stop. And it was a delay play or a draw play right up the middle. Let's watch the center, Tom Rafferty here. Number 64. You see, he gives the ball a one-handed snap. He invites that nose tackle up, and then he goes to the outside and he kicks out the linebacker. Frank Lamaster. That was an interesting type of block, and the guy over him blocks him, lets him go, and it goes against the next man, the linebacker. Ten yards for Dorsett, his biggest run of the day. Longest. 17 14, the Cowboys. 3.5 left to play third quarter. White. Dodges. Jumps around, throws to Dorsett. They say he was in the grass. And that opposed a sack by John Bunning. Now watch here. We'll see him. He starts to scramble, has to stop, comes back. We see John Bunning had a hold of him there, and the official blew the whistle. First with Danny White, he's never down until he's down, or whatever one of those things. Never over till it's over. The blitz and the sack story. Two and two. Dallas had both of their sacks with a blitz. Second down and White. Slowly away from the center, throws to Tony Hill, first down at the Eagle 44. Good throw and a fine catch. Hit down by Bernard Wilson, 19-yard gain. That shows what an athlete Danny White is. He fumbled the ball in a snap. Fumbled the ball, dropped it, picked it up. Now watch him from the end zone. He starts back here, drops the ball, bends over, picks it up. Continues his drop back and finds Tony Hill up here running an in pattern for a first down. Now that's tough. Take the ball, fumble it, drop it, step, pick it up, run back some more, and find the guy over. I like that guy. If I were ever coaching again, I'd like to have Danny White. He probably wouldn't like me. <laughs> I bet he would. Yeah. I'd let him call his own play. Danny White. Pass complete. Tony Hill again. Pick up the play. Jerry Robinson made the hit. Yard shy of a first down, but down to the Eagle 35. I remember in training camp as we see Tony Hill, he looked like he has a little injury there. I remember in training camp, Tom Landry was saying that, that Tony Hill was the most improved cowboy this year. He and Michael Downs, he said. Watch a little hook. Boom. Turn it up. Very and Hill goes out of the game. Al LeVan over talking with him along with John McAdick. Handoff is to Springs this time, and he'll have the Cowboy first down. John Bunting made the stop. I think what frustrates a, a defense against the Cowboys, they do so many things. They line up all over the field. You never know where they are. But they hold on to the ball so long that you just want to, you, know, you don't get that three and punt and three and punt. That tends to frustrate you a little bit. They have so many ways to get it done with so many individuals. Bunny Hill back in the game now. Lined up as the flanker on the right side. Possibly split wide left now. Cosby moves in motion. The handoff is to Tony Dorsett. Dorsett still on his feet down to the 2019. Hit by Roy Nell Young first for Dorsett. Banging away Herman Edwards to help. 14-yard game. I don't know if he was hit by Roy Nell Young or he hit Roy Nell Young. I think he was the hitter instead of the hit either. Watch this quickness of Dorsett. A little delay. Big hole in there. Now watch him. A great running back always finishes off runs. Watch Roy Nell Young here, 43. Boom! Nell Young goes back. Dorsett's in. 
comes out the third quarter, and as John Madden was just saying, they keep the ball a long time. Don't they? they still lead 17 14 at the end of three. He is sponsored by the wine cellars of Ernest and Julio Gallo. And by Chevrolet. Chevrolet is USA One, and USA One is taking charge. Philadelphia 17-14. Cold and damp day in Texas. Talking about freezing rain and sleep later on. Right now everything seems to have uh, quite a thing. Drew Pearson's without at the bottom of your picture. And that's Cosby. He just made the last move and now goes in motion. White. Hill, the intended receiver, back there with him. Roy Nell Young in good shape. Jukes and the moves didn't work. Here's Tony Hill. Now watch, he's trying to make a little outside move. Then he decides to come back inside, but it didn't fool Roy Nell Young. Roy Nell Young, he was right there with him. Tony Hill, the thrill man. He was in bias on the freeway yesterday. We didn't have a chance to catch it either, did we? No. But we had a bigger load. Door set down to about the 16. Frank Lamaster tripped him up, and now a little strenuous scuffle. Heard Peterson upset with somebody, like Reggie Wilkes, maybe, or Frank Lamaster. Or John Bunting. It looked like Wilkes came in and grabbed John Bunting, spun him around. Now he's clapping. So we're okay. We're okay. We're we got going it. out. We you got guys him. take care of it. Just remember who it was. Danny White down in the huddle. He's got the message from Coach. Eleventh play of this drive started way back at the 22-yard line. Third and seven. For Tony Hill, Bernard Wilson, right there with him once again. It seems like Danny White has been looking all over the field for Tony Hill and Doug Cosby. I don't remember a pass being thrown yet to Drew Pearson. One pass, huh? One short sideline. He caught for a first down right in the opening minutes of the second half. And it seems like everyone else, and he, you know, he used to spread them about half and half, but. Uh, doesn't seem to be looking Drew Pearson's way as much as he is Tony Hill. Carano will hold from 34 yards out. Raphael Septien kicking. everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. He did that in one take. I told him he should consider the broadcasting. Set in. We'll kick off. Molly Henry has it bounced away from him and out of the end zone. Dallas had the ball 12 plays and six minutes and three seconds in that last drive. When they got the field goal. I'll tell you, that really takes a lot out of a defense. You know, some people say that the possession thing isn't a big thing, but it really is. That means that that your defense, the Eagle defense, is out there. The offense doesn't have the ball. They can't do anything about it, and it really is something that is a morale breaker. Cowboys 20, Philadelphia 14. Big Ed Tutal Jones, 6'9", 280. And we were just talking about it. it is a fact. Montgomery chased by Randy White and Benny Barnes, a 
and those two take him down. Mike Hegman also there. But they have that right side figured out defensively now because that's where the Eagles will make an arrow all their yardage to their left side or the right side of that Cowboy defense. And it's like they're getting either Randy White involved in an inner stunt or the middle linebacker. Randy White, interesting, he came back to training camp, what, 270, John? Yeah, like 273. He's back down to 254 or something like that. Montgomery is the lone setback, and he comes out of the backfield. Back in the air by John Dutton. receiver that Jaworski had in mind. Uh, if you look at that Dallas front four, Dutton, 6'7", too tall, really not too tall, 6'9". Harvey Martin, 6'5", and Randy White, 6'4". Let's we'll see Dutton come in there. Mm. Dutton, too tall. Too tall Dutton, too tall Jones, too tall Martin, too strong White. Carmichael. Pass is incomplete. Intended for Mike Quick. Incomplete. Ron Fellows on the defense and Runiger will make an entry. Let's watch Ron, Ron Jaworski here and his reaction. He sees the ball. Again, another one pops out. He says, shoot. What do we have to do? Right now, what they have to do is put in number four, Max Runiger. Averaging 42 and a half yards. Ron Fellows, who has turned into an excellent punt returner. Back deep. Runiger standing at his own six. Another good kick. Fellows gets a block in front of him from Newsom. A little room gets to the 45 46 perhaps. John Shira, the first man down, number 21, made the stop on Ron Fellows. 41 yard punt, seven yard return. 20 to 14. Now. I'm Max Runiger of the Philadelphia Eagles, and I'd like to wish you a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. Sounds like he really means it. Thank you, Max. 55 left to play. It's Dallas 20, Philadelphia 14. The Eagles have only won once here. Dallas first down plays. That's a pretty good average in both categories. Rushes and pass. Door set for three. Jerry Robinson tripped him up. You know, Dorsett is one of those type of running backs that, that like Russian roulette. You know, you stop him, you stop him, you stop him, but you can never feel comfortable that you have his number. But you know there's still some shots in there that could, could finish the day for you. That chamber is never empty. <laughs> That's great. Dorsett goes out now. Timmy Newsom has replaced him. Ron Springs also. Springs alone set back. Go with two tight ends. And they get the spring. And spring surges off to the left side about a yard shy of a first down, but a penalty marker is down. We'll check that and then we want to bring you up to date on some of the other scores around the NFL. Haggerty says holding against Dallas. Here are some of the other scores. Fourth quarter, Washington 17, New Orleans 10. That one's still in progress. They delayed the start of it. The Jets, a very, very good football team, 28 to 7 over Minnesota. Chicago, 27. Holding. Rams, 64. 16. Offense. Holding against Rafferty. Trouble times in Los Angeles for the Rams, at least, not for the Raiders. 27 to nothing lately, Denver. San Diego, 37. Baltimore, 13, third quarter. They'll put some points on the board, won't they? They sure will. Second Raiders down and 18. Excuse me. The Raiders will too. Oh, yeah. That one's really something. Second down. Right. Drop left. Fumble. Still loose. Cowboys got it back. Rafferty came up with the ball. The Eagles had a couple of crack 
looks at it. But that's the way things go. Hey, that's about the third time that that's happened today to the Eagles, where there's been a ball on the ground and the Cowboys have come up with it again. Watch it again. The delay. Same play. Little move there by Dorsett. The ball gets knocked out right there. It's loose. Now watch Rafferty get in and get the ball right after it bounces to the outside. It just kind of bounced right out to him. So it'll be third and 12. Line of scrimmage is the Dallas 43. Shotgun formation. Michael. Down he goes. Dennis Harrison with the Eagles' third sack of the day. Chance. Dennis Harrison, they call him Bigfoot. Size 15 shoe. Like that kind of stuff. Watch him again. He's the leading sack man in the league. This is the first year that the NFL is keeping official tracks of sacks. Let's watch him. Now he starts at the left, comes to the right, all the way out the right hand side of your screen, off a blocker, and chases and catches Danny White from behind. That was a good move. He had to run a long way to get there. He earned that sack. It's worth keeping track. White. Wally Henry at the 35. Gets away from one. To the 38. Angelo King. The man who finally brought it down. 36-yard punt. A three-yard return. So with 10.53 left to play. Eagles will have it first and 10 at their own 38. They trail 20 to 14. New Year's Day on C In addition to the Cotton Bowl next week on CBS, next Sunday the NFL. Of course, the beginning with the NFL today and the Giants at Philadelphia. St. Louis at Washington. Chicago, Tampa Bay. The Bucks still alive in the playoff quest. Green Bay at Detroit. Atlanta, New Orleans. Rams at San Francisco. It's the extra game. And the standings look like this. Those Dallas, Washington, Green Bay, Atlanta, and St. Louis already in the playoffs. You have five, you're in in the NFC. There's some teams still looking to get in. Wilbert Montgomery split out wide. Here's the Washington. Looking deep and throwing. Pass is caught complete by Wilbert Montgomery. We were talking about what an athlete he is. We were talking about that early. You know, that Dick Vermeil has always thought that he might want to play Wilbert Montgomery to the outside, but every time he puts him outside, he needs him inside. But we'll see him here. He's the left end. He's a split wide receiver. He's out to the outside. Good pass protection by the Eagle line. Worski finds Montgomery. He's running an in pattern right here. And he catches the ball for a big first down. From Abilene Christian, Wilbert Montgomery. Brother plays with the Raiders. Spagnola in motion. And kicks back to Montgomery. Danny Barnes. Everson Walls. Both up to make the tackle. Walls played that very well. Last six times the Eagles have had the ball. Three punts, two fumbles, one interception. But you know, you always think of cornerbacks, Dennis Thurman, Everson Walls. You always think of them as pass defenders. When you get a runner like Montgomery, they're the two outside men on the run support also. As you said, Everson Walls was right up there, and he really made that play. Harold Carmichael flanked to the left. Walls over with him. Jaworski has Spagnola. Down to the 22-yard line is John Spagnola. First down, Philadelphia. 17-yard game. The Eagles not out of it yet by any means. They sure aren't, and that's one of the problems with double coverage. When you bring your corners up, rotate your safeties to the outside, the linebacker has to play man-to-man -man on the tight end. That time, Mike Hegman was man-to-man -man on Spagnola, and it got to be a foot race, and it wasn't close. Spagnola, three passes caught today for a total of 37 yards. First down, Philadelphia. At the Dallas 22, and the Eagles with some... 
uncertainty. Call a timeout. Let's watch it from the end zone. Now we'll see both corners are coming up. Both safeties are going to the outside. You can't see that. Spagnola coming underneath. Now look who has to cover him. You can't even see him. By the left of the screen, there was a linebacker, Mike Hager. So with that Eagle timeout, they have two remaining. Trail the Cowboys 20 to 14 with 8.45 left. Pat Summerall with John Madden, Texas Stadium. At least the rain has just about subsided. Seems to be getting a little colder. It was 36 degrees when the game started. Jaworski trying to keep his hands warm looking over the Dallas defense. 8.45 left. Cowboys up by six. Quick count to Jaworski and Montgomery. Montgomery was hit in the backfield by Ed Jones. Fumble. Eagles keep the ball. The last man to have possession. It was close, but it didn't work. See, Montgomery fumbled it, and now the Cowboys didn't get control of the fumble before it went out of bounds. That's Montgomery here. Good strength. But you'll see the first man here is Too Tall Jones. He takes a grab at him there to the outside. Then he gets by that. Then another tackler hit the ball out, knocked him out. Now watch the ball here. If the Cowboys get on it before it gets out of bounds, it would have been their ball. If they got on it when the ball was out of bounds. That was Dennis Thurman who came over at the last second, second and five. Balls at the 17. Was looking right quickly and throwing to Montgomery who slipped coming off the line of scrimmage couldn't get it back together in time to make the reception. Benny Barnes was the defender. That's one of those problems with those short timing passes. If something happens to your receiver, then you're still forcing the ball in there. Jaworski, because he took a three-step duck, didn't have a chance to look over the entire field. He had made up his mind he was going to throw to Montgomery. Montgomery not only fell down, but he was also double covered. Dallas now puts in extra defensive backs. Dexter, Quinsdale, Fellows. They'll put some pressure on you here. They like the blitz in this situation. This time they don't. Carmichael cradles the ball, goes out of bounds at the 10-yard line. It'll be an eagle first down. Michael Downs was the defender. But Harold Carmichael got the first down. Worski looks, he's looking all the way at Carmichael, finds him here man to man on Michael Downs, just leads him enough for the first down. I get the feeling that both Jaworski and Harold Carmichael knew where that first down marker was. Twenty to fourteen, Dallas leading. First and ten. Balls at the ten. He had the ball in a perfect spot. He just outreached him. You want to celebrate with it or spike? Yeah, he's going to carry it, I guess. I'll tell you, Carmichael did a nice job. A basketball thing, he pushed walls a little before. Let's see if we can watch it. Here, if we can see Carmichael, no, we don't see him. Jaworski just climbing past, throws it out, up over Wall's head and into the arms of Harold Carmichael. Much of a way you could stop something like that. Tony Franklin, four tied 2020. Shara will hold. Franklin puts the Eagles ahead by one. 62 yards, seven plays. And the Eagles recapture the league 21 20 with 8.25 left to play. I don't know if you're fighting to stay alive in the playoff picture. Tonight on CBS Sports, Denny Crum returns to Pauley Pavilion as he leads Louisville against UCLA. Top 10 action Tuesday night on the home of the NCAA championship, CBS Sports. I'm Ron Jaworski of the Philadelphia Eagles. On behalf of myself, my teammates, we'd like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Congratulations to Ron Jaworski, who has just set 
the Philadelphia Eagle career record for touchdown passes. Just past Norm Speed. He now has 112. James Jones bringing it out for Dallas. Philadelphia now leading the Cowboys 21 to 20. 27 yard return. The Cowboys playing for the home team advantage in the playoffs. There is that statistic we gave you just a second ago. Tommy Thompson. Sammy Jurgensen with 76. Norm Steve with 111 and Ron Jaworski with 112. Pretty happy at the moment. Dorsett goes out. Split receiver to the right. Handoff is to Ron Springs who spins up to about the 34 before Dennis Harrison tripped him up. Fourth quarter score Washington 20 New Orleans 10. Redskins and the Cowboys of course both with records of six and one starting today. Jets 28 Minnesota 14. Chicago 27 the Rams coming back a little bit 27 19 San Diego 37 Baltimore 13. Second and seven here at Texas City. Pearson much or working to Pearson much. Maybe we ought to take a little peek out there and see what he has going. Seemed like they'll be going to Tony Hill and Doug Cosby the whole time. Just threw that one to Drew Pearson. Landry talking to John Makovic. Dallas is only three out of 13 in third down conversions and zero for their last nine attempts. Here, White, pocket, runs, chased, down he goes, ball still in play, the Eagles have it. The Eagles, Dennis Harrison and Carl Harrison converge, and the Eagles pick it up inbound. Harrison gets down where to be first and goal, Philadelphia. He looked like he was lumbering on that one. He wanted to get there, he just couldn't get it, but there's a happy man. He wanted that touchdown. Rugby type plays. That ball was bouncing all over. Lander saying, "What's happening to it?" Oh, Harrison said, "I did it! I did it! I got it! I almost scored." Let's watch it. It's shotgun, and we'll see that the first pressure starts from his left. See from White's left, puts him to the right where he has some more pressure. Field. Now watch here. This is Greg Brown coming all the way across the field. Knocked the ball out of his hands. This one didn't go out of bounds. Carl Harrison picks it up right down the sideline. You know what he was thinking there? Don't fumble it. Don't fumble it. So what's he do? Fumble it. Finally got away and it's first and goal Philadelphia at the four-yard line. Montgomery to the two. Bob Brunick made the first hit. Talked about running backs, and we have two of them here, two great running backs. But one thing about a great running back, they always finish off their run. You know, they run hard, they get squared up. Now watch right at the end, right there. Boom, boom. You know, just to get that little extra yard, they'll finish it off. Lunging forward, got him two yards. And so it's now second and goal from the two. Montgomery and Leroy Harris. Montgomery doesn't make it. Brunick, Ed Jones. Jones made the first contact. Brunick finished it off. This is what it's all about. Down here in the goal line. Look, we're right here at ground level. Defense staying low. Offense staying low. Everyone get a charge. Back lead. Boom. Too tall. Grabs him by the right. You see him? Grabs him back. Brunick pushes him in. 
There's Brunning. Let's watch him. Now he's reading. He knows that he wants his lineman to get low, get out of my way, and he has to keep everything in front of him and make the pile go backwards. A half yard. They need to score. Rock still running. Just over six minutes left to play. Eagles up by one. Leroy Harris off the left side. Ball is loose. Scramble. Dallas says they have it. And indeed, that's right. The argument still goes on. I'm not sure. Jones says we got it. Crowd thinks they have it. The Eagles don't agree yet. There's still some guys down there fighting for the ball. The Eagles say they have it. I believe the Eagles. I think it's the Eagles' ball. That's what the indication is as Dick Vermeer looks on. It is, as Pat Haggerty says, the Eagles' football. But who's ever on the bottom of that pile doesn't necessarily agree. They still have it. They're still down there. Watch number 54, Randy White there. And he's on the bottom of the pile. The ball bounces out. Montgomery's going for it. Right there's Bagnola. Oh, could be Dennis Thurman or Montgomery. Or Penny Barnes. Penny Barnes, excuse me. 31 and 31. It was a green 31 that had it. That was, of course, Wilbert Montgomery. And now Franklin comes on for the field goal attempt with John Shire holding. Eagles 21, Cowboys 20. Franklin. Bangs and hits. And so it's the Eagles 24. And Dallas 20 with five minutes and 32 seconds left to play. Tony Franklin was happy after that one. You know, we talked to him last night a lot. It seems like we always run into the kickers wherever we go. But I said, how you doing? He said his left knee's bothering him some, and that's a that's a tough thing for a kicker because you know, that's his plant foot. He's looked pretty good today. He puts his team ahead 24 to 20 now. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience. The rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Dallas Cowboys and the National Football League is prohibited. Now the Cowboys need a touchdown. That put them out of field goal. Of course, there's still five minutes, 32 seconds to go, but the Cowboys need a touchdown now. Franklin to kick off. Finds it in the direction of James Jones. Spins out to about the 24. He's had a bad knee. Hasn't been able to play. Much. Next week, CBS Sports will bring you an NFL doubleheader. Giants at Philadelphia. St. Louis at Washington. Both of them already in the playoffs. Chicago at Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers still alive. Green Bay at Detroit. Packers in the playoffs. Atlanta in the playoffs against New Orleans. And the Rams at San Francisco. Eight teams in the AFC and NFC all qualify for the Super Bowl tournament. 24-20, Philadelphia over Dallas. The Eagles still with a mathematical chance. White. <laughs> intended for Drew Pearson, knocked away at the last minute by Royal Young. Good play. That was a double coverage. We'll see Roy Nell Young. He's the short man. He lets him go. See, now they're trying to hit Pearson between the short man and the deep man. Roy Nell Young came all the way across. He was a deep man and knocked the ball down. Herman Edwards is over there to help out. It'll be second and 10. Dallas operating from their own 24-yard line. Five minutes, 18 seconds left to play. The Eagles 24, the Cowboys 20. Game to throw. And Tim and Tony Hill. A double pump by White. Roy L. Young again, the defender. Tony Franklin trying to keep that 
barefoot warm. I guess. It has to be something good because he's laughing about it. Yeah. He has his foot in the bag. That's how important kickers are. You got two guys to take care of his foot. Yeah, to warm that thing up. How's it feel now, Tony? Pretty good? Yeah, it's getting warmer. A little warmer. Okay, take it off now. Good. Yeah, it's good. That's what got in there. Stuff in there. Third, third and ten. The 24. Right out of the shotgun. Yeah, they had a tough time protecting him back in there. doing a good job for that Eagle defense. He's only a rookie. He comes in with the six defensive backs, uh, uh, Mansfield, and he really he either takes the tight end or the halfback. He's a good player. White back in punt formation. Had a frustrating time. Good kick hanging up in the direction of Wally Henry. A couple of tacklers. Gets to the 43 where the Eagles will take over. And White scrolls off the Eagles leading Dallas 24 to 20. Wally Henry limping over to the sideline in pain, obviously. Worski gets off to Montgomery. He keeps firm control of the ball. He's knocked down by Randy White. The Eagles have been working that left side. I think the Cowboys have it figured out now. They're doing a pretty good job of stopping that, that that pitch to the left, that weak side pitch to the left side. One of the things that the Eagles want to do now is consume time, four minutes and 30 seconds to go. They want to keep the ball as long as they can. Of course, they'd like to score. They want to keep the ball away from the Cowboys. Ball to throw. Second and eight. Montgomery this time. Alone set back, spec. Noah again in motion. Boston will throw. Looks outside, has Montgomery, has the ball bounce off his hand. Cowboys all over that one. Pretty Jones, everybody around. Heckman out there, too. Ron Jaworski's really been pretty sharp today because even, he, he, even his incompletes have been there and they've been dropped. One of his interceptions was right in Ron Smith's hands and it popped out. So he's really been sharper than his statistics are going to show today. 14 out of 22 for 175 yards he is. One touchdown. That to Carmichael and one got two intercepted. I'm sorry. One by Walls, one by Thurman. Third down. Eight. 410 left to play. Ball at the 46. Out of the shotgun. Jaworski has Spagnola back there with him. Carmichael shakes in motion and stays and now checks out. Ron Smith and Jaworski had a cross up in signal. Either that or Jaworski was throwing the ball away. Look at Ron Smith and saying I ran and out or I didn't hear the audible. Because Ron Smith ran and out, Jaworski threw it up. Hard to complete that when there's no one there. So Runniger comes on for his fourth effort of the day. Rod Hill back deep for Dallas. Be something if Runniger took off. Good kick. Beach Bowl. Tom 
Henry's looking for some fast guys now that he can throw the ball up to the outside and maybe get some yardage here. He has a fast guy to the left. That's Tony Hill. Drew Pearson out to the right. Ron Springs the lone set back. Springs stays in the block. White. Cosby. Ducks out of bounds. First down. Herman Edwards knocked him out of bounds. Cosby got 11. That was a big one because they were backed up. They were there in the 10 yard line. They were backed up against their own goal line. Now they get out on the other side of the 20 and that gives you a little more room to work. And that's very important with an offense like the Cowboys that like to use those multiple formations. You don't like to be backed up and do all those type things. Philadelphia 24, Dallas 20. 252 left to play. That's the first first down they've made this quarter. Cosby on the flanker around, end around, whatever. Cosby, ball slung out of bounds, a loss of a yard. Carl Hairston right there, no place to go. Yeah, I, I, I think I've seen more balls slung out of bounds, on the ground, bouncing around, fumbled today than I've seen in a football game in a long time. And again, it could be the ball is wet, the field is slick or whatever, but it seems like everything that happens, the balls fly into the ground. That was a great play, though, by Carl Hairston right in down the line like a linebacker didn't get fooled by the play right in on block still running 315 left to play Dallas by the way has all three of their timeouts left Philadelphia has two Springs alone setback second down 12 white as the ball slip out of his hand he might have gotten it back it's what you were talking about yeah, there's something. It could be, you know, the ball could be dry, but then when it's put down on the ground, it could get wet again. Just watch Danny White here. He's going back to pass, starts the pass, just brings the ball up, and it just falls right out of his hand. Grabbed it, brought it in there, though. But that's been happening all day. To both teams. Football, except on the West Coast, of course, you will see 60 minutes on the West Coast. You see that regular time. Right here, it's third down, 23, 34 left to play. Long, crucial yardage situation here. Out of the shotgun is Danny White. Now, that one's called to an end as flags go down. 30 second clock might have expired. Delay, offense. Remember last year, early in the season, the Cowboys had a lot of problems with that. Getting the play from the sideline, sent in with a messenger to the quarterback, getting it called in the huddle, getting out and up to the line. This year, they haven't seemed to have that problem, have that problem, but uh, you saw it there. It's rolling up points. You saw that Washington was winning convincingly. Fourth quarter score, the Bears 27, the 19 over the Rams. Raiders 27. It'll be third and 27 here. And White stands in the end zone. a blocker or two accelerates to the 20 yard line is popped two or three times by Ray Ellis and some more Eagle defenders Jerry Robinson also 18 yard gain but Dorsett really got hit at the end of that it really looked good at the start of this play shotgun you see Dorsett 33 he fakes like he's going to block works out to the left Danny White hits him on a screen pass blockers in front right now it looks good Right now, it looks like he's going to get a first down. He cuts, but watch all those green jerseys. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Coming from all over the place. Exactly two minutes left to play, and it's Philadelphia 24, Dallas 20. Eagles still alive. Pat Summerall with John Madden, Texas Stadium, where the Eagles lead the Cowboys 24 to 20. Two minutes exactly left to play as Danny White goes back in punt formation. He has already run once today to pick up first down yardage. He only needed a yard then, though. Now it's fourth and nine. Wally Henry lets it go away. Ball stay 
stays in bounds. Cowboys down at Rod Hill was the first man down there at the 30. 48 yard punt, no return. Just a reminder once more our schedule for next week. Double hitter on CBS, the Giants at Philadelphia, St. Louis at Washington, Chicago at Tampa Bay. Green Bay at Detroit, Atlanta at New Orleans, Rams at San Francisco. It's the extra game next week. Brought about as, of course, the result of the long strike. A lot of people still with playoff possibilities. Pressure now on both units. Off Montgomery. Mike Hegman was the first cowboy to make contact. Lock will still run unless somebody calls a timeout. I would think. And let's see. Yeah, I was going to say, I would think that the Cowboys would start using timeouts right now. That's what Tom Landry's thinking. That was an interesting play, that last one. You know, the Cowboys had used that tight end in motion, and then he becomes a lead blocker, the trap blocker, and now the Eagles are giving it right back to him. That's the first time I've called by the Cowboys. They still have two left. The Eagles have two left. There's Jaworski comes over to talk with uh, Dick Vermeil. Now, the big thing here, what they're talking about there is once the Cowboys take a first, a, they, their first time out, now the Eagles have to get another first down so that the Cowboys can't call one, two, and three. If they get a first down, then the Eagles have four downs, and the Cowboys only have two timeouts left. So if the Eagles are going to put the Cowboys in a bind, they still need a first down. Conversely, the Cowboys have to stop them. Once you call that first timeout with less than two minutes to go, you can't let them have another first down. So once they do get the first down, they should be able to run it out. Then. That's right. They'd be able to run it out then. Chicago 27, the Rams 26, fourth quarter. Billy Malavese having all kinds of difficulty in Los Angeles. Carmichael slid out wide to the right against Everson Wall. Second and six. Do not stop the clock. They're saying Montgomery was still in bounds. That's what the fans were booing about. The, you know, the Cowboy fans know that they don't want to have to waste the timeout. Montgomery gets out of bounds. Of course, the clock stops. They don't rule him out of bounds, and the Cowboys had to use another timeout. They only have one remaining. So it'll be third down. Four, Dallas 20. And at 36 left to play as Tom Landry who changed his wardrobe at the half. He'd like to go back and change again because Dallas looked in good shape at that particular time. He was ahead with the old wardrobe. You know, Philadelphia's really taken a lot of heat this year, and of course their defense has taken a lot of heat. They went from first in defense last year to 13th this year, but I'll say that today, today, they really played well. They look like the old Philadelphia Eagles. They're rushing the passer, running all over the field, causing fumbles, turnovers, all those types of things. Big down coming up right now for Philadelphia. Third and five, a minute 36 left to play, and look at the rain belt down. And it stopped for a while. They were talking about sleet and freezing rain and all kinds of problems later on. Third and five. Montgomery once again the lone setback. Handoff is to Wilbur. Hit by Benny Barnes and the Eagles will have to punt. And once again, Dallas quickly comes up with a timeout. John Dutton was there too. So now that's their last timeout. One minute, 32 seconds. That's plenty of time, but with no timeouts, it's going to make it tough. Now, of course, with the punt, there's an automatic timeout at the change of possession. I was interested to hear your explanation yesterday, John, about the secret of Landry's longevity. 
that he doesn't get bothered by extraneous things. That was the thing. You know, we were talking about Tony Dorsett on Saturday, whether he'd be able to play or not. And Tom Landry said, I don't know. I'll talk to him tomorrow about it. I would have been a basket case, a nervous wreck. He's my best player if I didn't know if he was going to play or not the day before the game. He's something. So Runniger enters the contest. Fourth down. Those of you who watched the Redskins defeat New Orleans today, 27 to 10, welcome to Texas Stadium, where the score here is 24-20. Philadelphia leading Dallas. Pat Summerall with John Madden. We have one minute, 32 seconds left to play. Cowboys up uh, in what appears to be a situation where they'd like to block it. I'm sure they would. Rod Hill back deep for the Cowboys. Max Runnigan. Let as much time run off the clock as they can. Don't block it. Runniger gets it in the direction of Hill. Rod Hill has it go away from him and bounces out of bounds. Cowboys will take over. 42-yard punt, no return. Andre and Danny White. They have a lot to talk about now because they know that if they don't get out of bounds, they can't take time out. So they're going to have to maybe call more than one play in the huddle, and they have to use, of course, their hurry-up offense. And, of course, with the four-point deficit, the field goal is out of the question. 24-20. They have to think of a touchdown in about five plays. They'll operate out of the shotgun. he goes in the grass they will say once again Dennis Harrison and Tim Clark the Eagle bench <laughs> been a little dry period for them but that sack was a result of coverage not the rush they only had a three man rush on that six defensive backs in great coverage there was no one open and he White had to hold the ball and the rush eventually got to him Sack this half. White picked off. Herman Edwards has it for the Eagles, and he'll just do a dance and finally get out of bounds, and that'll stop the clock. And that should just about put this in the W column for Philadelphia. The Eagles are happy, and they deserve this one today. They worked hard today, and they played very, very well. Ball looked like it slipped out of Danny White's hand, just took off on him. Herman Edwards was right there. And he was trying to run some time off the clock so that the offense didn't have as much to do. I'll tell you, with the Cowboys losing, the Redskins winning, and that gives the Redskins the best record in the NFC. And home field advantages and all those sort of things in the playoffs, which are extremely important. Down. Harold Carmichael deep. They line up all their guys inside. Put big Harold Carmichael deep as a safety. Dallas, of course, once again has no timeouts. The Eagles are celebrate still alive in the playoff situation. One more game to go, and they can still make it. They play the Giants next week. And we'll be there next week. I uh, will be in Philadelphia. Christmas in Dallas. New Year's in Philadelphia. All right. <laughs> in doubt. Hey, Down to 15 seconds now. Clock still running. Jaworski will just kneel. And that ought to just about do it. Texas Stadium, where the Eagles had won only once. Again, 24-20, the final score. Thank you. Executive producer of the NFL on CBS, Terry O'Neill. Charles Milton III, Red Eye himself, senior producer. Bob Stinner produced today's broadcast. Directed by Sandy Grossman. 
Jones, the producer Joan Petrano. Marty Tin, technical director, Richard Sands, always so helpful. And the rest of those who help us so great. Merry Christmas. One more time. I hope 1983 is great for you. The Eagles keep, although their slim hopes for playoffs alive, they play the Giants next week. That's the final score, 24-20. The Eagles over Dallas, Pat Summerall for John Madden, saying so long now to Los Angeles, Tim Ryan.